So the fuel tanks in my trawler were replaced, were fabricated and replaced in 2016. And I started to notice a little smell of diesel in my bilge. I couldn't figure out what was going on because the tanks are brand new. That's the last thing I would suspect. Well, you can see in the bulkhead is a little drain, and that's where the uh, little bit of diesel was coming through. But I was uh, able to figure out uh, which tank it was. And luckily, I have access to where the leak is. There's actually four tanks in this boat. What they would do is uh, take out the two main tanks and build four tanks and plumb them together. Well, the leak was a slow leak, but nevertheless a leak, and you don't know how bad it's going to be. Fortunately for me, I have I was able to find the leak and have access to the bad weld. So I used a, a thin piece of aluminum, and I, I fabricated a little bend to it so it would fit on the tank, because the tank was not a 90-degree angle. So I sanded away or actually uh you know lightly sanded away all of the uh the powder coating and clean the ever area uh really well so i sanded away so i prepped the area cleaned it really well and uh, and it was all ready to uh adhere this patch that i made now with the mirror i was able to see underneath i was kind of like i felt like a dentist working in areas where i really couldn't see but i had to use a mirror to uh to work on it i tilted the tank back so any residual fuel in that tank was not where the leak was it was all on the far end of the tank so i propped the tank up so there was no more leaking at this time okay prepared to patch i put some tape around it to try to keep things neat after speaking to a lot of people uh online and at different forums and stuff and everybody having different ideas uh a fabricator of fuel tanks here on Long Island recommended this product and it is something that they use on adhering uh, windows to aluminum and uh, an aluminum to to, uh, to glass in the automotive and um, the window industry so he recommended this I apparently he must have made some patches using this urethane product I never heard of it before but it's kind of like a very thick 5200 and it cures uh, very quickly pretty easy to work with but it did take a lot of squeezing to get it out of the gun so I just kind of gopped it on there really thick yeah it wasn't easy to get the product out of the tube but it required a lot of squeezing and a sore hand when it was all done and thanks to everybody who put their two cents in on the uh, forums on the internet it was all very helpful I'm curious uh, when they fabricated the tank if they do the powder coating after they do the pressure testing or did they pressure test the tank after they put the power coating on because it could be possible that imperfection in the weld was there the whole time and it was so small that the powder coating actually held back the leak and, uh, and that was 2016 and now it's 2021 when this happened so you know that's uh that's five years. I mean, it shouldn't have happened. This, these tanks should have no issues whatsoever. Uh, I contacted the manufacturer, and uh, they initially got back to me, and then they never got back to me anymore, which was kind of disappointing. I wasn't looking to get anything or have any liability. Stuff happens. I just wanted to get some, uh, some guidance if I found the leak, knowing that it was a very small leak. Is it possible? Is there a way that I can repair it with out the dangers of welding this tank uh or is there a product that i could use to seal the tank a lot of people recommended uh i think uh jb weld um but that really from what i understand doesn't expand and contract so as as uh <clears throat> the summer comes along or the cooler weather or the heat of the engine room expands and contracts i was didn't want something that would uh maybe fail because of that and because the leak was so small, I was not too concerned with um, the amount of pressure that would be on this tiny little leak. All right, so now I uh, applied this patch and uh, squished it on there real good and put some pressure on it. And uh, the stuff really bonded nice to the aluminum tank. Again, the tank was tilted, so any residual diesel in that tank all went to the aft part of the boat. So, uh, and I did that 
I kept the tank in that position for about a week to make sure it was good and dry and there was no diesel leaking out from the pinhole at all. Uh, so to, to assure that I really get a good bond. Well, then I put some wood blocking underneath to kind of put some pressure and to get it just right and keep some pressure on that while the, um, while the patch cured. Twenty four hours later, it's tr time to check out and see how the patch worked out, see how it bonded to the tank. So let's see. I did a lot of boat yoga in this project. It's not easy getting around, moving things, and things are always in the way, and that's the hardest part of a job like this. But luckily, I was able to find the source of the leak. Because to take these tanks out of a boat like this, it's a huge undertaking and a very costly expense. All right, so I removed the blocking, and, uh, and there it is. There's our patch. Looks like it's holding. You can see I got the tank elevated, so there's no fuel on this area where the patch is. It's all on the uh, aft part of the tank. Grab my hand. I mean, I tried to dig at it to see if it would move or anything. It was on there. So now I changed the attitude of the tank i lifted the aft end so the fuel ran forward and i put a diaper underneath there and i said okay let's see what happens i'll leave it like this for a couple days and see what happens and so far uh, since i've done the patch there has been no leaking of diesel fuel now if you're watching this video you could always contact me uh, at any time and i will let you know if the patch is still holding I mean, right now it's only been a couple weeks, but uh, here I am going down to check it again a week after just to make sure there's no leakage. All right, a little boat yoga, and again, there is no evidence of diesel leaking. Subscribe to my video, like the video, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.